I am not the ultimate fisherman. No, oh, no, but I'm getting there. So two videos ago, I caught my new PB Blue Cat. If you haven't seen that video, you're probably not subscribed. So, you know, just go on ahead and click that button so you can check that video out later. Because right now, we need to go stock up on the bait that made that catch possible, Skipjack Herring. Spring is here. So the Skipjack are making their annual spawning run and like a lot of fish, they lack the ability to scale a 170 foot concrete wall. So places like Bolden Dam here in Elmore County, Alabama become stacked with the essential big cat bait. If you are a subscriber, you've already seen my Skipjack rig before. If you're not a subscriber, that means you failed to follow my instructions just a couple seconds ago and I caught you. You're busted. Now go go click the button. I'm serious. Go click the button this time. But our gear today is going to be a 7 foot medium heavy rod with a 4500 size spinning reel, 20 pound braided main line tied to a 25 pound monofilament leader. On our leader we've tied three 1 8 ounce ball head jigs in tandem along with a half ounce silver spoon dangling off the end of it. And on each of those jigs we're going to put a two inch white curly tail grub. And the technique we're using is no real big secret. All we're doing is we're looking for the current seams where the faster water coming out from under the dam is hitting the slower water that's just sitting in the canal here. And hopefully we find a current seam that's completely schooled up with skipjack. Water's a little high. The sidewalk is not here. I gave it a try up there on that wall tossing out into this hoping there would be something corralled in this gigantic eddy right here but it's it's not working out so I'm about to make an unwise decision and say it's not that deep I would like to say you should not do this it's not that I'm a professional or anything it's just that I'm just uh, stupid I guess fish on. Uh-huh. It's only stupid if it doesn't work. And this works. Look at there. Skippy. Skipjack. Now the problem is I gotta get all the way back to the... Oh no! I'm hung! I gotta get all the way back to the pier. Alright. First skipjack of the day in the bucket. Now to walk all the way back out there, I was about halfway down that sidewalk, but they're sitting right on that current seam in there. I mean, if there's, if there's more than one. Oh no! Well, that's not good. <laughs> All right, we're hand lining. <laughs> Come on, fish. <laughs> Was this worth the trip at all? Get in the net. <laughs> oh no. That's a bummer. Season size skipjack though. Hmm. Well, we got two, and then the <laughs> handle of my rod fell off. Luckily, I do have another reel in my car. So we're upgrading to a size 8,000 reel with 50 pound braided main line. This is not the correct reel for what we are doing, but dang it they're biting I can't let it go all right so the maybe least stupid thing I've done today I brought the cooler down here to this one little section that's somewhat out of the water so I don't have to walk all the way back down there every time I catch one because I have a feeling we're about to slay with this beast of a combo oh castability has taken a significant hit 
Oh man, I ain't getting no distance. I better hope they up close now. They're up close. Look at that. That's a good one too. Get in the cooler. Look at that. They are stacked up right here. Well, all things considered, that went pretty well. I loaded up an entire cooler full of skipjack. We're definitely way up in the double digits. I'll have to get the final count once I get them home and bagged up and in the freezer. But for having flooded conditions, a defective reel handle, I cannot complain with the results. I even managed to get a free lure out of this whole trip. So that was, it's just, it's been a great day so far. But now we're stocked up and ready to go after, hopefully a 40 pound catfish this year. But until then, Y'all have a good one.